Greetings, geeks! Welcome back to West of Loathing. Last time, we went to Stern's Ranch and found that it is a smoldering crater. We also found the grave of the Stern's family, one of which was holding a locket containing Mary Stern's picture. By getting that picture, we summoned the spirit of Mary Stern, and we killed her again. Uh, is that how killing a ghost works? Can, can you even kill a ghost? Uh, I'm not entirely familiar. But now, we explore the charred remains of the Stern's household. Let us venture forward into the cellar first. Oh dear me. Oh, why do I not have good safe cracking? There's still some food on the shelf. Well then, finders keepers. Ooh, sugar guns. Those are very nice. A pile of loose boards and... There's a weird cow-shaped stain on the wall. Well, it doesn't appear like there's anything in the basement for us. So, we shall be entering the main house. Please don't let it be creepy. Um, no, but it is entirely charred. Thank goodness I have a needle. We've got the stock stock certificate. Ooh, it's something we can sell. This is a certificate in town of the bearer to 37 shares of the Western Button Syndicate, a company based in Chicago. Chicago, eh? Ooh, there's some beans. Blackened beans, to be precise. That is a very charred toy box. All the books on this shelf are burned, but you notice something strange about the back of the shelf. Well, let us investigate. Your deft fingers find a hidden cache. The back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a secret compartment. There's a book inside. The Diary of Mary Stearns. Hmm. A little girl's diary. Browned a little around the edges, but otherwise untouched by the fire. I'm going to try and read this. The first page says, in the little girl's handwriting, this is the Diary of Mary Stearns. The A.I. and Dairy are crossed out, and I.A. written above them. The, the, the diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under the cactus out back as she told me her name. Uh, it was Grace. Mama and Papa didn't believe me that she talks. They say I've got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are going to get us, but Papa says we will be okay, because this were never a cow ranch. But Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. Oh, this is very creepy. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Ethie. Though Papa says she's been gone so long, they should put up a cross. Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa says she's only eleven. How far should she have gone? And Mama started crying again. I don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I have to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her Effie are going. I have been keeping the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I got her. If I don't, the cows will eat all three of us. She said I either get Mama and Papa to play, or else I've got to play by myself. Oh. Oh no! That wouldn't happen to be... The toy box contains a single object, a creepy, burnt porcelain doll. Well, okay. It's the work of a moment to fix a doll's voice box. Um... Pull the string, I guess? He pulled the string. The doll's eyes rolled back into his head and his mouth begins to move. 
Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? It's none of your business, doll. The doll shakes back, head shakes back and forth violently. <laughs> You're funny. Do you want to play with me? Uh, I don't have time for playing games. That's okay. Somebody else will come along soon. You're already dead anyway. <laughs> you shudder as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. Oh dear. Um. We're talking to a cursed doll today! Uh, and I'm Codex. Hi, Codex. You're nice. You want to play with me? Sure. Let us play, Grace. Hooray! Mary used to play with me, but we didn't fi get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Sure. Hooray! The game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? Uh, no. Mean cow? Shouldn't worry about that right now. Well, what's the word? The magic word is peanut butter. The dog goes silent. Got it. Peanut butter. I guess we're doing this. Uh, cold rituals was not something I had planned for today. But you know what? Let's do it. I'm not a coward! Time to say, peanut butter! Oh my god. What in the... The topless, sinister-looking altar sits a goblin, filled with what appears to be blood. What should I do? It's clear that everyone who plays with grace dies. This tea party is more of a sacrifice ritual. If I take this goblet, it means I'm part of the sacrifice. If I play tea party with her, I might be sacrificed. But if I don't, I'm worried about what might happen to me. I think either way is a bad decision. But I'm not about to let this little toy dictate the actions of Prince Codex Xavier Xander. This goblet shall be destroyed. I don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. Grab the goblet and smash it against the altar. Everywhere the blood lands, cracks appear. The altar groans as it crumbles into ruin. <laughs> Take that, you despicable doll! I'm not about to be played a fool. <laughs> I'm going to show her what I've done. Tell her exactly what I think about her stupid doll face. Grace's eyes grow red. She must know what you did. You'll live to regret this. <laughs> her mouth snaps shut and her eyelids close. Well, that's only a little ominous. Um, can I talk to her? Ooh, Grace is not speaking to me anymore. I'm a little scared, but you know what? Uh, who cares? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be attacked or anything. Right? I, um, let's go to the other ranch, shall we? <laughs> the other ranch that we unlocked was Butterfield Ranch. Away we go. You know... Butterfield Ranch sounds a lot like a type of dressing. Let's keep going towards the ranch and ignore the mine for now. Oh dear! This is a cow. You're gonna have to deal with this cow if you want to explore this area. Alright then, filthy bovine creature! Let us tussle! <laughs> oh goodness gracious, what is everything? What is with? These enemies, and having 90-something HP! First many stir, then now a Hellcat! Oh dear. Well, stench! Get poisoned, you little fink! <laughs> Susie, you wanted to get revenge on the cows, correct? Well, give this one a good shot in the eye for me! <laughs> Ooh, that was a good shot. Take this! More damage is good damage. 
Oh, this bovine is not surviving for much longer. Do you know why I like using this toilet pistol? It does so much. <laughs> you are going to die today. <laughs> Victory! You banish that demonic cow from this ramp. Get thee, hands, little doggy. <laughs> We've got ourselves the blood beans, roasted cow tongue thanks to our knife, and some extra thick leather. <laughs> Hoorah! We can now access the Butterfield Ranch. Ooh, there's a rope. I shall make use of this later. Another needle. Uh, oh, and another char... Darn it. Well, we have the red hot poker, which is a damage. It's a fitness. It's a damage? Are you kidding me, Codex? No, it's a melee weapon. But it's not as good as. Fine! Hot poker it is! Hmm. You have nothing to churn. Oh, drat. You notice some words carved into the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. You recognize that name? Curly. Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's me. Looks like this outhouse is worth investigating. Well, then let's do some investigating. Luckily, you don't have to actually go inside the outhouse, because once you open the door, you find a match scratched onto the side of it. It appears to lead to Coleridge Mine, just west of where you are right now. There's an inset map of the mine itself, with a big X scrawled between three strange triangular icons. Curious. It looks like we're going to be going to the mine after all. But we'll be doing it after... What in the world are these? Uh, I'm not going to mess with them for right now, and it looks like I'm messing with a bunch of weird cow statues. Let's do this. They're still and infected with an infinite number of unglious hair. Wait, I infinite? So that... That means... <laughs> this is Susie's grinding spot! Perfect. Every character that gains experience by fighting a specific enemy has an area that they can use to grind. <laughs> Which means this is for Susie! If we were to have picked Doc Alice, then not the Silver Platter, where are you? Dave Yard! The Dave Yard is what, um, it's what Butterfield Ranch is for our lovely Susie Cochran. Well, it appears until we get enough lock picking, there is nothing we can do at Butterfield Ranch. So... Let's head over to Coalbridge Mine, shall we? <laughs> you find a flyer for a dynamite store up north. It's charred around the edges. Looks like it got blown here by an explosion. Mark the address down under map. Dynamite Dan's Discount Dynamite Dare House. Well, I'm not going over there. Not yet. Here we are. Coalbridge Mine. We're looking for three triangular objects here. But I think I'll save that for another day. Next time on West of Loathing, we enter the Coal Ridge Mine and see what secrets it has for us. Curly Butterfield, we're coming for your treasure. <laughs> see you all then. <laughs>